and guys, I am back from vacation. Hey guys, Pika164 here and welcome back to Redstone Tutorials and guys, I am back from vacation and um, I am ready to um, to get back into the game and um, yeah, I just <laughs> noticed all these holes that I remember from playing around or earlier with creepers anyways um yeah so let us get into today's video so last time we did logic gates which was all fair and well but um yeah i realized that um if a beginner sees this he might get a bit confused so we are going to go right back to the basics and um we are going to literally see everything in this redstone item and more we're gonna see pretty much everything that has to do with redstone now um i'm just you know i'm just learning along with you guys so i may uh miss something um, but yeah, we're gonna just start with the basics over here, and we're gonna get a little bit more complicated, um, as we get more episodes, but, um, yeah, let's start. So, I'm just gonna tell you, um, let's just start, <laughs> okay, um, let's start over here. Okay, so, I'm going to do this. Okay, so now that that's done, this is exactly 16 blocks far, and if you see, th when we flick this lever, the lever will power these, um, redstone. This redstone will go, um, and, um, this is a basic thing, but redstone is what you connect, at, um redstone contraptions with it's kind of hard not to do redstone i mean it's kind of hard to do redstone without redstone so um we uh we usually use redstone <laughs> so um redstone when given a sing signal a normal signal from like a lever or something or a button it will go until 15 blocks and it you can see here the 16th block is not powered so if we take a redstone lamp which we're gonna explain later um basically a uh, redstone lamp gets um lights up when it has a redstone signal um getting um into it <laughs> So, as you can see, this 16th block is not outputting a signal, so this lamp doesn't get on. But if I break this and do this, the 15th block powers the redstone lamp. So, you can see that that is the maximum that you can go there. Now, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is repeaters. So... Um, we're gonna remove this redstone lamp, and, um, you guys know, like I just said, it goes only to 15, um, blocks. So how in the world are you gonna make crazy contraptions that may have to use a long line of redstone? So, um, the way you do it is with a repeater. If you use a repeater, it will go on for another 15 blocks blocks like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 there we go all right um so you can see again the 16th block is not getting powered so a redstone lamp didn't open but now a redstone lamp can so now you see that you've now expanded the line about 31 you've now i it now spans 31 blocks, which is um, a pretty far thing. And of course, you can keep going with a redstone repeater to go on and on and on, um, however long you want to. 
Now, the thing about redstone repeaters is that when you um, click this, see, okay, you can, uh, okay, if you watch um, those two repeaters, you will see, you see how there's like, do you see how when I, okay, do you see how when I flick the l lever or lever, I call it lever, if you can flick the lever, you can visibly see that this one ons first, and then that ons just a fraction of a second later. You see how Here, there's and like I'll tell you that that f second is exactly one tenth of a second. How do I know that? Because um, this uh, repeater. The one of the downfalls or good things about it, depending on what you want to make, um, is that it it um, delays the redstone signal when the redstone signal passes through it. Therefore, it um, delays it by one tick. They call it a tick, but it's really one tenth of a second. Um, and you can actually um change the amount of time it takes so that there's one tick two ticks three ticks up to four ticks so you can delay it by four tenths of a second and you will see um that right now if i can position this correctly okay see you could literally see that you can see that it powers then after some time it ons and goes on over here where um, it also delays by one tick which is pretty cool and um, that is how it works so I'm going to toggle this so if you see this you can see that it's on for some amount of time now if we get a stone button and do the same thing. And there we go. You will see that this you can you can visibly see that the wooden but button takes longer to finish than the stone button. Okay, so if you just see it you can see that this goes on for one second this goes for one and a half second and you can translate that to ticks this goes for well okay this goes for 10 ticks and this goes to 15 ticks and um so yeah just just to keep that in mind that is how it works now i'm just going to um remake that uh because we might need to get back to this because like w as we like make more and more redstone contraptions this place is gonna get really really cool and um yeah let's let's go on let's see what else do we have offers now dispensers and droppers are pretty pretty cool um they allow There is. Hold on. There we go. Should be. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So let's spawn. What should we spawn? Let's spawn a donkey. Because donkeys are cool, that's why. <laughs> Alright, where's the donkey? There we go. I need two of them. Alright, so if we um, put these dispensers and um, the droppers. So this is the dropper, this is the dispensers. I always like them because they look like faces. Um, most people see that. And um, I think we're actually going to use a button for this. So let's take a button. And to place um, like stuff like this on like blocks and um, buttons on uh, things that you usually have, you usually just right click. Then you have to shift, then right click and um, you'll get it on the block or else you'll just open them 
dispensing menu or a dropper menu. So we're gonna put a donkey in each of these. Okay. And um, what spawn eggs do is that um, they spawn the animal that it says on its name. Now, the thing with um, droppers and dispensers, there's a reason both of them are there. It sounds like the same thing, but it's not. See, if we use the dispenser, if we click on this button, it will literally dispense a donkey. It'll spawn in a donkey because that's the egg that we put. But if I put press the button on the dropper, it'll dispense a the egg. So um, it allows uh, you to make a difference. So that um, let's say I don't know you wanted to dispense. You want it. There's a difference between dispensing an item and um, dropping an item, um, and that can be okay. very useful. So redstone blocks are actually really cool because they um, are a constant source of power, and they can be moved. Um, it can be moved via a piston, and um, pistons move stuff. And, um, yeah, that's how it works. Now, um, the funny thing is that if you put, oops, let's, let's make this work. Okay, um, if you put a lever next to a piston facing up and put the block of redstone, do you think it'll lift up? The answer is yes. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, just to clear that up, because you can also make it go up, but it won't come down. So just be wary of that. It, it, it'll it just stay up there. Because <laughs> redstone blocks are weird. Lever on top, and we're going to click it. So it does go down. And it does come up. So the only one that gets broken while um, it works is going up. So be wary of making a redstone block go up. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. And now that we're using um, pistons and stuff, let's grab a sticky piston and... Um, Let's grab a piston as well, and we shall see the difference between a sticky piston and a piston. So, uh, let's put little levers. So, as you can see, if we click this lever, and we click it back, this is the sticky piston. The sticky piston will um, push it outwards, and push it inwards so it's literally stuck to the block and that is actually very handy because um yeah it it won't leave the block so you can retract it and push it out i don't know <laughs> the word for that but yeah so that's good piston however if you it'll push it out but if it comes back it won't push it back in because it's not um it's not like that. So, um, it is very helpful for moving blocks around, like... Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> like, um, if we put... Okay. So, um, what's gonna happen is... Uh, yeah. Okay, so, if we put a lever over here... We'll see if we click this and click it back, it moves the block so that it's aligned with this piston. And you can move this, and bam, this block is suddenly here, um, which is pretty helpful. And um, there are a lot of things that you can do with this, and uh, yeah, just keep trying out new ways like I'm going to, and um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool so if we just click this and make it back click this and make it back actually we can change this 
to a block of redstone. And then if we do this, and then this, 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 suddenly your block is moving around in circles. And um, you can use that to your advantage. I just wanted to show you guys that um, we may be using it in... Um, in um redstone contraptions that will come after okay so let's use tripwire hooks so tripwires hooks um you need string tripwire hooks and um yeah let's use it so the thing with tripwire hooks it's kind of like um it's basically kind of like a um what's it called a pressure plate that's what it's called okay and um but the cool part is that it's literally very hard to see so if you covered it up like this and you were just walking down and um imagine if these walls are way apart like, if one wall is over there, and another wall is over there, then you won't even notice these holes, and you won't even- you won't notice the string either. Can you see that string? You can barely see that string. And so, it's very useful for traps, because when you step over it, it'll send a redstone signal out, um, both ways. So, we're just gonna- actually, we're gonna- we're gonna do um what we're gonna get a lamp and um great um um um, um no okay does this work like this okay i'm just um trying stuff out um uh, right okay so <laughs> what am I actually doing? I am trying something out. So, the best way to learn is by trying stuff out. So, definitely try stuff. Which I'm going to do. Because I'm cool. Like that. Okay, so, if you see, we'll come over here. And we'll click on this. And you can see that both open up. Which means both sides um, get, um, get activated, and, um, if we put down something, so it does work with, um, uh, items or entities as well, so you can see, um, easily that, um, the redstone works out, so just, um, saying that tripwires are very helpful for traps, and stuff like that. Alright, so, um, we're now going to learn about pressure plates. And, um, pressure plates are really cool. I love them. And, um, yeah, so, what's gonna happen? Oh, that cow just ran over the pressure plates. So, yes, they can be activated by mobs. Um, <laughs> which is pretty cool that he helped me. Alright, so, uh, there's stone plate and there's wood plate. Now, um, as far as I know, they go for as exactly as long as each other. But the difference is that if I throw down a block of redstone on this, the stone pressure plate has too much resistance. So it does not get um, activated by entities. But... If you use a wooden pressure plate, it actually does. So, you're going to do the same thing. We're going to watch it. So, you can see that a block is on both sides. And only the wooden pressure plate is actually uh, sending out a signal. Which is very helpful. Um, just to let you know. And wooden pressure plates are also helpful four times when um you're making a trap because of this 
if you take this, you can barely see the pressure plate over from the wood, so this can be very helpful for traps. Um, so yeah. Anyways, let's go on to the next one. So daylight sensors are actually really cool. So they transmit a redstone signal according to the um, time of day it is. Like how it's like noon about now. So you can see that it's transmitting a very strong signal. And um, you can see that the sun is barely coming up and um the uh, the redstone signal is um is coming so um this is very helpful um in redstone contraptions and i will um be showing more things that you can do in with all of these stuff um in the future hopefully so let's turn it back to day ah there we go now it's in the sky and again you can see the daylight sensor is working now redstone comparators are very complicated so i am going to leave that for a whole different video um and um hopefully that video will come out um at some point uh next hoppers are also very interesting they, if we take a chest, um, where's chest? Where is chest? There it is. All right. Um, if we take a chest and we put it, put the hoppers on top of each other. Um, hold on. Here we go. Okay. So the cool thing about a hopper is that if it, if a item will pass through it. It'll go to the chest that it's pointing to, but it'll go to the lowest hopper possible before doing that. So, um, uh, let's see. If we put, if we throw in this chest, you'll see that it'll appear in this chest, um, which is pretty cool. Um, now, uh, you can't, as I just showed you, you can just throw it in or you can manually set it this is the little screen and you can make um uh very interesting um right some contraptions with this thing uh, um uh including a sorter um which we will um get to in later videos so what is the next thing okay so next we're gonna use um, our god, our redstone torch god, and I'm gonna explain him. <laughs> so, what happens is, it will go out any way possible. And, um, it goes from here, from here, from here, anywhere. And, um, just be warned that diagonally doesn't work. It has to be pointing to the thing, or just going next to it. Um, so, okay, so it also works if something is on top of it, such as this thing, which is great. Um, so, yeah, just know that it doesn't work from the bottom. Right here, so you can see that this redstone torch isn't getting powered, so um, only everything around it and the block on top will be powered by the redstone torch. Um, so yeah, that's great. Now, let's see what else is there. Observer blocks, yes, these are very new things, and the thing with observer blocks is that if we put this and if we take this redstone thing and you put a redstone lamp you'll see that if i place a block here it'll um it'll s send a signal which is helpful um because it'll also check if there is something growing here so um 
if I place a block or remove a block, it'll send out that signal, which means, think about it, um, crops also work, so if a crop is growing, it will send out signals, which is pretty cool, we can use that for a lot of things, and I'll show you guys how to use that in later videos, obviously, because, <laughs> yeah, anyways. Weighted pressure plates. Alright, let's use them. We've got weighted pressure plates, heavy and light. Alright guys, so next is um, weighted pressure plates. And you can see there are two weighted pressure plates. And um, you can see that one is called, the gold one is weighted pressure plate, the light version. And the other one is the heavy version. Now, the thing with these is pretty cool, actually. So, um, if you add one thing, it has a signal strength of 1. If you add a second thing, okay, no, it has to be two different things. Like, if I put how many ever I want of this thing, it'll still keep at, um one signal strength but if I say put this and this oops I picked that up you can see that it's not two signal strength and I can keep going I put down a third one it became three strong I took two off and now it's back to one so we can keep going with this go as far I need to stop picking these up Let's see, there we go. There we go. Oops. No. Dang it. Dang it. There we go. You can now see if I place everything on here. You can now see that it's gone up to here, which is one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I put eight items down, and um, I'll put a ninth one now. And you can see that it's now nine long. Now that's what's up with the gold crush plate, and of course the maximum signal strength is fifteen blocks. So um. Um, yeah, it, that's how it works. Now, the thing with the iron presser plate is that you need 10 blocks. You need 11 blocks to go to second the second signal strength. Um, which I can do right now. Watch. I'll do this, this, and this. So that's 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven, eight, nine. Then, if I get two more things, ten, eleven. Now, now you can see it's now at two signal strength. And so, like this, it goes up every ten. So, um, this is also very helpful in redstone. Of course, all of these things are. Um, so you can use all this for a lot of stuff and um and um i can actually think of a lot of things you can do with this and um it works the same with um mobs and people like me so if i'm standing on it you'll see it's one at one signal strength so it's pretty interesting all right guys there's one more thing before i leave off so um, you can see that if, um, if I make a redstone line go into this block, but it won't power this redstone. And, um, here, let me get out another lamp. There we go. So you'll see that, um, it works like that. Now this redstone is still powering this block. And if I put it like this, it works. And um, if I put it like this, 
you can see it works. And um, let's see, does it work? Like, yeah. You can see it works like this. It powers this box, then powers this. But this will not um, work. So what you need to do is pretty much like force it into it. So um, you take a repeater, you make it, it's like it can only go through it at full strength. So you make it go through it at full strength. And only then is it able to um, get through the block. And um, yeah, pretty interesting. Imagine if you have a wall here and you don't want to disrupt the wall, but you still want to get through it. That's how you do it. You, you um, take a repeater and um, do it. So that's how that works. So with the same concept, if we carry on with our little wall here, it can actually work the same way in another way. Watch. Um, let's say we have it over here. And um, let's put it like this. And we keep going. And... Um, There. Oh. There. So as we just learned, this will obviously not power the redstone lamp. So to um to fix that, if we don't want the repeater out here because it looks really bad, we can put it over here. And it will still work the same. Which is pretty cool. And um I think I'm gonna put a leaper over here and oops. Put one over here and put one over here and there. Yeah. There we go. So um there you go. You can see all of those. So there are also um so now that you guys know that, I'll just show you guys pretty much everything that you can use this for not really um i'm just gonna show you this watch watch very very closely so setting up the same thing well no actually no i'll set up the same thing like this so if we put it like this, okay, you can see that this obviously doesn't work, but if we hard power this block, this works, this will also work, and obviously that works, um, this will also work, and... Okay, no. It's, uh, and this will also work. So you can basically make it go every way possible. And, um, which is very useful. It can go this way, it can go downwards. Downwards is pretty cool. Um, it can go this way. And, um, yeah, that's exactly how it works. Um, just put a lamp here, and um, yeah, so for another thing, um, we'll do like this, um, like that, and we'll put this on here, there we go, okay, I'm just gonna keep going like this, and um, put it like that, um, how about that, um, let's see, what else is there, there is also trapdoors yeah okay so if we click this you'll see that anything that redstone runs on top of um i mean if redstone runs on top of a block that block is powered so that block can power any uh redstone uh thingamajig <laughs> it's called a component uh any redstone component 
Um, but it just won't take out another redstone signal or something like that. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, so, um, uh, so that's the difference. So this is called hard powering when you push it through, um, and this is called soft powering when you just put a normal redstone signal, not the strongest that it can be. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's how it works. By the way, um, if, um, you wanna power a block, let's say you're doing it like that, and you put some lamps like this, it has to be going into the thing, so if it's just running right next to it, does it doesn't work. It, um, has to be like that, and, um, actually this is an interesting thing that you'll see, oh, whoops, sorry. Um, yeah, okay, so you can see that this thing is actually powering this block, which is powering the one next to it, so, um, just keep that in mind that if you're trying to power a bunch of redstone lamps, you don't have to power each one, um, yeah, but it only works like one block away, so, just be wary of that. And yeah. Okay. So yeah. Um, I believe that is all that I have um, to show you guys. And I'm sure there will be way more in the future to show you guys. That actually took a bunch of space. Like... Uh, a lot of space <laughs> like look at this um but it was worth it um to show you guys um all of this stuff and um yeah that is your next <laughs> redstone thing so um that is how it works and um yeah, I hope you guys learned something, and if you did, smash the like button, and, um, if, if you, um, uh, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, because it really helps me out a lot, and, um, uh, yeah, that's, that's it for me, good. What an incompetent person. Hey, who said that? I did. And I think you need my help in Redstone. Is that you, Redstone Torch? Of course it is, kid. Who else would it be? Oh my god. The, the Redstone Torch God can talk.